Hello, and welcome to the CCNA Routing and Switching course offered by Simply Learn. The last lesson focused on Advanced OSPF. This lesson focuses on Wide Area Networks, WANs. Let us begin with the objectives of this lesson in the next slide. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to explain the concept of WAN, list the different LCP options, explain the frame relay architecture, configure frame relay, explain different types of VPNs. Let us start our discussion of WANs. Wide Area Network WAN communication occurs at layers 1 and 2. There are three methods to connect non-local networks. The first is a dedicated line using synchronous serial communications. It is the most expensive option and is usually leased by organizations. The second method for WAN communication is switched line. This is broken down into two categories, circuit switched and packet switched. Circuit switched options include modems or ISDN. Among the packet switched options are ATM or frame relay. The third method for WAN communications is using the Internet. Let us look at a point-to-point -point leased line and how it works. A channel service unit, data service unit, CSU, DSU, is connected to the local router serial interface. This is a data communication equipment, DCE, device used to convert the data from the local router into a form acceptable to the WAN service provider and vice versa. It provides clocking for the serial connection. The CSU-DSU is the DMARC, the point in the organization's network where responsibility passes to the service provider. All other networking equipment are considered customer premises equipment, CPE, and is the responsibility of the customer alone. In a lab environment, a WAN connection can be simulated. In the next slide, let us discuss digital subscriber line. Serial encapsulation is similar to the encapsulation used in the OSI model as data is sent to a higher layer. A header, and sometimes a trailer, is added to the data. Let us look at PPOE as an example. The PPP frames are encapsulated within an Ethernet Layer 2 header and trailer. This allows the PPP frame to be sent over an Ethernet network. Normally, PPP is used with serial interfaces. PPPoE provides the capability of passing PPP data over a LAN. To check the encapsulation on an interface, use the Show Interfaces command. Let us now discuss the high-level data link control encapsulation. 